1993 when me and Bones were a couple of starving musicians living in North Hollywood with our bandmates. Uh, we discovered Mezcal for the first time. Now Mezcal was the tequila with the worm in it and we had heard all the urban legends that if you drank a bottle of that and then at the bottom ate that worm you'd hallucinate and it would increase your drunkenness. So me and Bones are like, sign us up, let's do it. One Friday night, no one else is in the house except me and Bones, so we crank up the tunes, crack open that bottle of mezcal, and start doing shots. We're chasing it down with some beer, lit up some Acapulco and gold, and we're having a great old time. So great that we decide to go out to the front yard and start wrestling and beating the crap out of each other. One of our neighbors must have thought it was a real fight and called the cops on us because the next thing you know, there's an LAPD chopper flying above us with the spotlight beaming down on us, yelling over the speaker to break it up and go back in the house. So we run back in the house and that's when we realize there's only one shot left in the bottle of mezcal and the worm is sitting there looking us right in the eye. Neither one of us wanted to do it, so we said, all right, let's buck up for it. Loser has to eat the worm. Vamanos, muchachos. Okay, Bones, best two out of three. What do you got? Odds or evens? Odds. All right, evens it is. Ready? One, two, three, shoot. Odds, you win. One, two, three, shoot. Even, we're all tied up. One, two, three, shoot. Damn. Looks like I'm stuck eating that worm. Flash forward many drinks and many hours later, I'm passed out in bed and I wake up all of a sudden and I'm shivering, I'm freezing, and I realize I'm soaking wet, but I have no idea why. So I rip off all my clothes, throw them on the floor, and I pass right back out. When I finally come to in the morning, I wake up, I'm butt naked, I have no idea why. I step out of bed and I step on a pile of wet clothes. There's a puddle on the floor. I have no idea what's going on. I throw on some dry clothes. I head out into the living room. There's a couple of my roommates there watching TV. And there's Bones passed out in front of the TV with the dog licking his face. I'm still trying to figure out what happened when one of my other roommates comes out of his room and he asks us if we know what happened to his Stephen King book. I look at the book, it looks like an accordion. It's five times the size it should be, and there's like water dripping out of the edge of the book. That's when it hit me like a lightning bolt. I got a sudden flashback of everything that happened. Before I went to bed, I decided I'll take a shower so I don't feel like crap in the morning. And for some reason, I kept my clothes on. Well, I think we know the reason why is because of all that mezcal but while I'm in the shower, I must have got bored, so I figured, hey, I'll go get a book to pass the time. That seems logical and completely normal, right? I went into my roommate's room, who had a bunch of books up on his shelf. I grabbed one of his books like I'm at the library in the middle of the day, and then, you know, I head back to the shower to read it. And I can picture myself holding the book up over the shower head while water splashing down on me, and I'm reading page one of this Stephen King book that'll probably be turned into a movie someday. Now all my roommates are freaked out wondering what the hell happened, and I just start laughing, and I tell them the whole story. They thought it was funny, but for the next few months, they did lock their doors and hide all their books. Now, eating the worm didn't cause me any hallucinations. It did not definitely increase my drunkenness. But looking back, I feel like it also broadened my horizons because I did read more than I ever have. Thank you, Mezcal. <laughs>